fortunate enough now to be sitting down with assistant coach Paul Dogleish. Paul, thanks for taking time to join us. Thanks for having me. Paul, take me back. As, as a player, um, you know, growing up with, with such a high pedigree in the game, why, why Major League Soccer? Why did you decide to come to the States and, and, and take part in what a lot of people think is still a, a building a project in the States? I came to Houston, it was the third time I tried to come. Uh, first two times never worked out for various reasons. As you said, growing up with, with the, the surname on your back in, in England is quite a big name to deal with. And uh, you were never really judged on what you could do. You were judged on what you could do compared to what your dad had done. And coming to America where the knowledge of what he'd done wasn't the same as what it was, it, it allowed me to, to be judged on, on what I could do. And that was one of the most enticing things about coming to America was to, to carve out a reputation for for myself rather than be compared to him and, and it's the best decision I've ever made. No player ever wants to face that final day of his career and kind of the great unknown. Um, you kind of slid pretty seamlessly into the coaching realm. Uh, what was it about that, that, that opportunity, about wanting to be a coach that, that made it so interesting, again, to come back to the States yeah. and, and kind of lay that groundwork? Coaching was always something that I wanted to do, even, even when I was a player. I mean, when I was a player, my mind wanted to do things that my body couldn't do. Uh, I wasn't good enough to, to do the things that I thought about on a soccer field because I'd never worked hard enough at my game to, to be able to do it. And um, when I was playing, it was always something I always wanted to coach and, and, try and try and watch people do what I wanted to do as a player, but wasn't good enough to do it. So it was it's something that I've always been more interested in was coaching. Um, it's something I'm much more confident in myself in than I ever was as a player. Uh, and it, it's, I've, I love it. I'm actually probably one of the strange, the strange people in the game that enjoys coaching more than playing. What was the takeaway from Austin? I mean, you had an incredible amount of success offensively, defensively, setting records, uh, you know, sc scoring goals, all of these things. W what was it about that moment, about those games? What was the big takeaway from that, from that success? We had a similar type of, uh, of, of pr uh, principles, work ethics that they have here, where the, the team is the star, which was, which was, um, which was something that, that we really believed in in Austin, was uh, that there was no superstars. And we used to tell the players, the man, that, the man that stands atop of the mountain never fell there. It was a tough journey to get there. And for me, I'm not real. Uh, I don't really believe in, in talent too much. Most people that are talented have worked hard at some point in their life to be talented. And if you want to be successful, then you've got to have a work ethic. And, and that was the one thing that we tried to explain to, to players. And, um, and the one thing that attracted me to Salt Lake as well was that work ethic and that real team mentality. There was no star. Everybody, it was be the best at playing your role. And that's what, that's what Salt Lake are. Every single one of their players plays their role very, very well. So as a player and now as a former head coach, how does that role change as becoming an assistant for Real Salt Lake? I just think that my job now is to, to challenge Jeff, um, challenge Jeff behind a closed door. And then when we walk out that door to support him 100%. I think he brought in people like Craig Weibel, Daryl and myself and, and Andy as well to, to have opinions and ultimately to give our opinions, but also understand that Jeff's the main man and it's, it's his ship and he's going to steer it the way, the way he wants to steer it and he'll do it from a short experience being here, he's going to do exceptionally well. You and I were talking off camera uh, just about your trips here uh, yeah. as a player and, and being in Salt Lake. What, what, are you, what are you looking forward to as being a family man uh, and, and now living in this, you know, this unique culture? I was really, really happy in Austin um, and there wasn't many places that I would have given up the lifestyle that I had in Austin for, uh, the great life in Austin. Um, and my, my family were very settled, but every time I, I came to Salt Lake as a player, I loved it. I loved the, the atmosphere. There was just a real feel-good factor about the place. Everybody was friendly, and it, it seemed like a real good place to bring up your family. Uh, and I'm certainly excited about moving my family here and, and, and seeing them grow up in Salt Lake. Purchase your 2014 season tickets today at realsaltlake.com.